It is known around Green Bay as the unofficial kickoff to summer. The city's Bay Beach Amusement Park is set to open this weekend. But before the crowds pass through the gates and head for their favorite rides, inspections are conducted to make sure everything is in safe working order. Our Emily Byer spent some time at Bay Beach today. Always a fun place to be <laughs> and some of those inspections taking place. So I guess what do they look like? What do they entail every year? Yeah, well, it was a fun, very windy day out there. <laughs> and, and what this really looks like, um, it's, it's actually really cool and kind of fun. So they get the inspectors are out there and they're going to go through every single ride and they're also looking ac across the park too right they're looking for any fall or trip hazards mm -hmm. they're looking for you know maybe uh, sharp edges or if there's different things that you know you see oh a kid could come over here and you know pull scrape on something or scrape or any of those things so they are very diligent when looking for these different possible hazards that they're looking for um, and and sometimes that entails you know also getting to ride some of the rides so that was the kind of the fun <laughs> part was getting to watch these inspectors you know they they do this every year um, but getting to see them kind of get involved and ride some of the rides was kind of fun too. is it a one day deal or are they kind of out there for a few yeah, days they've been out there all week okay. and so how this kind of works too is if there is an issue say they find you know a, a loose bolt or something's kind of going on they then notify uh, the ride owner and then they go through this process of, you know, they'll get back with how long is that going to take to fix? Do they need to have it closed, you know, this Saturday? So they go through all of that and hopefully, I know they had said too, hopefully they're still there. So if they do fix it, maybe it's something they just got to tighten and make sure it's good to go. Um, they'll take it through its testing and all of those things. And if the inspectors are still there, they can kind of sign off on it and make sure that everything's in top notch, ready to go. It sounds like a thorough process. Yeah. Uh, is there anything new at the park families will notice this year? Well, you're looking at them right now. Those are <laughs> brand new bumper cars, baby. That was that was the fun part that I thought was really funny watching these inspectors get into the <laughs> get into these bumper cars. So that was pretty cool. And I'm sure for a lot of people, if you've been out to Baby, you've been in those bumper cars before. But they are new this year. There's also a couple different things too that they've had. Uh, they also did a newly rebuilt that stairwell for that big slide out at Baby. Mm -hmm. So you're going to notice that looks a little bit different this year. Um, they do have some newer rides, the Nebulous. That's a ride that just uh, opened last September, so this is its first full, full year, year, so that's exciting. And then also, um, new this year, it's going to be coming. It won't open until likely end of May, end of this month, uh, beginning of the first week of June. Um, that's that all-inclusive uh, playground. This looks re really, really cool. If you've been out there, I mean, it's really cool just to see this uh, a park, a Bay Beach amusement park, just continue to expand and just really be the gem that it is in Green Bay. Well, and certainly over the decades, it's always been known as being so so affordable for, for yeah. families mm -hmm. and I know tickets right now just you know 25 cents forever mm -hmm. they were 10 25 yeah. cents now there is a discussion tonight about it costing more what's that look like what are you hearing yeah so first to kind of give a little bit of perspective the last time that the price went up that was in 2003 and they went from 20 cents to 25 cents so in 20 you know 20 years mm -hmm. five cents really isn't that that bad when you look at overall inflation right in the cost of other things <laughs> yes yeah and keep in mind too out there the parking is free when you go to some of the these other parks Right. You maybe have to plan for parking, um, but the food is also still very affordable too. So really quick, what that is looking like, and it's a discussion tonight. There's still some other steps and balance uh, checks and balances that would need mm -hmm. to happen with that. But it would go for, uh, right now rides 25 cents, one ticket to four tickets is what it takes for all of the rides. It varies. That could look like you know maybe it's five tickets for some of those bigger rides. But there are some free days, and we'll tell you more about that. And you can always check it out on our website. All right, Emily, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.